Mathematics is the beautiful language of the universe. Perhaps one of the most intriguing topics in mathematics is the topic of infinity. Infinity isn't a number, it's something endless. So, is infinity here, 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 or here? Actually, it's more like somewhere in that general direction. We can find infinity in the set of real numbers and the set of natural numbers. Interestingly, the cardinality of the set of real numbers is greater than that of the natural numbers. Is there anything between the two infinities? That is the continuum hypothesis. The continuum hypothesis states that there is no set whose cardinality is strictly between that of the real numbers and the natural numbers. So, if the continuum hypothesis is true, then it would look like this. Note that even though they look equal, they're not. They're just infinitely close to each other with nothing in between. If it is false, then it would look like this. In order to attempt the continuum hypothesis, we first need to know that the key is the mailer frank Bosset theory, or ZFC for short. This theory is one of the most fundamental parts of modern mathematics. First, we need to plug the continuum hypothesis into ZFC as an axiom, or assumption. Then we plug its negation, or opposite, again into ZFC as an axiom. The first one would tell us that it cannot be proven to be false in ZFC. The latter would tell us that it cannot be proven to be true in ZFC. In 1940, it was proved that if you put the continuum hypothesis into ZFC, all the results you get would be true, meaning that, hey, it cannot be proven to be false in ZFC. Then, in 1963 and 1964, it was shown that everything that comes out of ZFC with the negation of the continuum hypothesis as an axiom will also all be true. This means that the continuum hypothesis cannot be proven to be true in this theory. Combining the two, we get an astonishing result. It cannot be proven to be true, but it also cannot be proven to be false in modern mathematics. There was a time when there was no geometry, yet one day, Euclid invented geometry. That one day would be forever remembered. There was a time when there was no calculus, yet one day, Newton invented calculus. That day would too be remembered forever. Today, we live in a world with no solution to the continuum hypothesis. Yet, if you think about it, there are so many possible discoveries waiting to be made. Can you make that next discovery? Can you make that next step?